Hello guys, it's MeshTech here and today I want to show you how to play multiplayer games on your RG350 over Wi-Fi. Since I don't own another RG350, I took my PC as another player. So what I did, I installed Quake 2 on my PC and I installed Quake 2 to my RG350 over here. Um, Let's do this together. Um, I put you the links into the description. And let's start downloading the OPK file for the RG350. Therefore, just follow my link and you will end up on a page on GitHub. There you should find SDL Quake 2. Just download the OPK file. If you click on it, you will find the OPK file right there. So let's download it. It's going to take some time. I'm going to speed the video up for you guys. And here we are. The download is complete. Now let's check the download folder. Okay, here is our OPK file. And this is what we need to transfer to our RG350. Therefore, I'm going to make a wireless connection with my Wi-Fi to the RG350. For sure, I need to activate Wi-Fi first. So, therefore, we go to GCW Connect. And there I have my saved networks. going to connect right to it. Here we are, it's connected. Let's jump back and connect to our RG350. Now you have to navigate to the Media Data Apps folder to drop the OPK into this folder. So you just drag it and drop it right in there. Since I already copied it there, I'm going to skip this because I don't want to override it. You see, it's exactly the same. So now, Quake 2 is available on your RG350 and we have to add the pack0.pack file. You need to have a legal copy of Quake 2 and this file goes to media data local home and there you will find the Quake 2 folder down here dot Quake 2. It has the base Q2 folder and there you need to drop the pack0.pack file. So, as I said, you need to have a legal copy like I have. And yeah, you just take that pack0.pack file from your legal copy and drop it into this folder. I'm also going to skip this um, step because it takes some time to transfer it. So, just transfer it to that folder and you're, uh, you're done. All right, now it's time to start the game. So, Let's jump back to the RG350 and go over to games. There you will find Quake 2 SDL and this is what we're gonna log. Take some time to start up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start Quake 2 on my PC. Okay, so PC and RG350 had load the game, so I think now you can read it better. <laughs> Multiplayer. Uh, we're gonna start the server on our device. Uh, navigate down there. No, we don't want to change this. Okay, begin. And the RG350 starts the server. Now, on our PC, you go to Multiplayer and say join network server and as you can see it already found a game called no name because I didn't give it a name so let's start it right ahead bam here we are okay so let's walk around and see if I can find myself somewhere here I wonder where I'm where I'm located uh, so we'll Let's have a quick look here. Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay, I know where I am. Now let's let's go there. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. There. I think I have to walk this way, all the way down there. Okay. Um, I have a I have a weird problem with my with my video settings here. So just give me a second to change this. Um, yeah, let's try that. Okay, it's still it's still a little weird because um, I don't see the other player. It's marked as a dot here, so. If I move around like this, you'll see. Um, the, the little dot or diamond there is moving. <laughs> and yeah, so we could actually play a game of Quake 2 uh, over Wi Fi, and it works pretty well. So sometimes Wi-Fi um, have has some little lags, but that's based on the medium. But in general, it is working, and the transfer rate of the um, Wi-Fi sticks is way enough to play games like this because only a short uh, number of data has to be transferred. So, yeah, actually, a nice thing, and maybe an opener for more multiplayer games on this device. Okay? In this short video, I just want to show you that multiplaying over the RG350 in Wi-Fi is working. So I started a game of Quake 2 and hosted a multiplayer game on the RG350. And as you can see, um, both players, it's the one player on my PC, um, is connected and yeah I myself on the RG350 too so I can walk around uh, on the PC it's been shown as a weird small dot walking around but on the RG350 everything is fine I think it's just a matter of my video settings on my PC um, so yeah it's it's actually it's it's working we can have oops we can have multiplaying with the RG350 together with uh, a PC, for example, on Wi-Fi, so... Um, pretty cool. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye!